Hi, this is Bob again with another short devotional. Have you ever noticed at times the Lord just keeps bringing one thought or one verse or one doctrine to your mind constantly over and over day by day? It seems to be happening with me in the last few days, uh, considering things that I've read, that I've heard preached, that I've heard about on the radio, that I've heard from uh, in talking with other people. And it's just a blessing to see that the Lord is directing us in so many ways. And this week, after considering the resurrection of our Lord on Sunday, I've been kind of thinking about just the basics of some of the things, like John 3.16, that he gave his only begotten Son. And I had just come across a, an old, old devotional called Grace for Today, uh, and was reading it, and it had the same thought even for uh, for yesterday. And I thought I would just read part of it, because it's, it's very, very uh, good and, and focuses us again on where we ought to be thinking about our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord God gave us his Son. We did not earn him. We didn't even desire him. When he came, we despised him. We rejected him. We nailed him upon a piece of wood and mocked him as he died. Yet for all of this, the love, the mercy, and the grace of God were not abated. The purpose of his love was not thwarted at all. God's love towards fallen, guilty sinners scattered throughout the whole world was so great that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God gave his Son to be our Savior in the covenant of grace before the world began. Before all worlds, in the mind and purpose of God, he took his own beloved Son and laid him upon the altar of his strict justice as the substitute of that vast multitude for whom he had determined to save and he killed him as a sin-atoning, propitiatory sacrifice. In that sense, Jesus Christ is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. God also gave his Son in the Incarnation. In the fullness of time, the divine purpose must be fulfilled. God sent forth his Spirit to prepare a body for his Son in the virgin's womb, and Emmanuel came, God in our nature. God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law. Lastly, God gave his Son to die, to die in the place of sinners at Calvary. The death of Christ was not the work of Satan or the work of man, for neither Satan nor men had the power to kill God the Son. The death of our Lord Jesus Christ was the work of God the Father, the greatest work ever done for us by God. It was that work which God had purposed from eternity, for which he created this world. In the crucifixion of his Son, by the hands of wicked men, God gave his Son up to the hands of his own holy law, to suffer the wrath and vengeance of the law in the place of sinners. Being fully satisfied with the sacrifice of his own dear Son, God now gives us salvation and eternal life, and gives it to every believer who trusts in his Son. And truly, Jesus Christ, dying in the place of sinners, is the gift of God's love. What a blessing, and let's just focus on his love moment by moment now. Thank you.